A rebus is an illusional device that uses pictures to represent words or parts of words. It was a favorite form of heraldic expression used in the Middle Ages to denote surnames. For example, in its basic form, three salmon are used to denote the name salmon. A more sophisticated example was the rebus of Bishop Walter Lee Hart of Norwich, consisting of a stag lying down in a conventional representation of water. The composition alludes to the name, profession or personal characteristics of the bearer, and speaks to the beholder non verbis, said rebus, which Latin expression signifies not by words but by things, a thing, object, matter. Rebus being ablative plural. Rebuses within heraldry. Rebuses are used extensively as a form of heraldic expression as a hint to the name of the bearer. They are not synonymous with canting arms. A man might have a rebus as a personal identification device entirely separate from his armorials, canting or otherwise. For example, Sir Richard Weston bore his arms, ermine, on a chief azure five bezants, whilst his rebus, displayed many times in terracotta plaques on the walls of his mansion Sutton Place, Surrey, was a ton, or barrel, used to designate the last syllable of his surname. An example of canting arms proper are those of the borough of Congleton in Cheshire consisting of a conger eel, a lion and a ton. This word sequence conger leo ton enunciates the town's name. Similarly, the coat of arms of St. Ignatius Loyola contains wolves and a kettle, said by some to be a rebus for Loyola. Modern rebuses, word plays, a modern example of the rebus used as a form of word play is, h plus equals here, or here. By extension, it also uses the positioning of words or parts of words in relation to each other to convey a hidden meaning, for example, p walk arc, walk in the park, pictograms. The term rebus also refers to the use of a pictogram to represent a syllabic sound. This adapts pictograms into phonograms. A precursor to the development of the alphabet, this process represents one of the most important developments of writing. Fully developed hieroglyphs read in rebus fashion were in use at Abydos in Egypt as early as 3400 BCE. The writing of correspondence in rebus form became popular in the 18th century and continued into the 19th century. Lewis Carroll wrote the children he befriended picture puzzle rebus letters, nonsense letters, and looking glass letters, which had to be held in front of a mirror to be read. Rebus letters served either as a sort of code or simply as a pastime. Rebus principle. In linguistics, the rebus principle means using existing symbols, such as pictograms, purely for their sounds regardless of their meaning, to represent new words. Many ancient writing systems used the rebus principle to represent abstract words, which otherwise would be hard to be represented by pictograms. An example that illustrates the rebus principle is the representation of the sentence I can see you by using the pictographs of I euro kali euro si euro you. Some linguists believe that the Chinese developed their writing system according to the rebus principle, and Egyptian hieroglyphs sometimes used a similar system. A famous rebus statue of Ramses II uses three hieroglyphs to compose his name, Horus, Farah, the child, Mez, and the sedge plant. Su. The name Ra Mez Su is then formed. Use in game shows. Canada, 1980s children's game show Kid Street featured a rebus during the bonus round. United Kingdom, catchphrase was a long running TV show which required contestants to decipher a rebus. There is an Australian version of the show hosted by John Burgess. In 1998, Granada TV produced Waffle a single-word rebus puzzle show that was hosted by Nick Weir, and included premium telephone line viewer participation. United States, rebuses were central to the television game show Concentration. Contestants had to solve a rebus, usually partially concealed, to win a game. The HBO children's game series Crashbox features three rebus puzzles in the game segment 10 seconds. Historic examples it is reported that when Voltaire was the guest of Frederick the Great at San Susi Palace, they exchanged puzzle notes. Frederick sent over a page with two picture blocks on it, two hands below the letter P, and then the number 100 below a picture of a handsaw, all followed by a question mark. Voltaire replied with, Gah! 
both messages were rebuses in the French language, domain sous par copyright, sent sous C. Reply, big G, small A. Gar copyright grand, a petty. The early 16th century Bishop of Exeter, Hugh Oldham adopted the owl as his personal device. It bore a scroll in its beak bearing the letters D-O-M, forming a rebus based on his surname, which would probably have been pronounced at the time as Owl Dom. The 19th century French sculptor Jean-Pierre Danton would place rebuses on the socals of his caricature busts to identify the subject. For example, Victor Hugo was an axe plus UG plus crossed bones. Hector Berlioz was represented by the letters B E R low on the socal, with a bed comparatively high on the socal. In the U.S., a rebus was used on the Continental Congress patterns minted in 1776 and later on the Fugio Center, the first federal coin, minted in 1787. According to Walter Breen, Alicia Gorlaldit engraved the dies, using sketches of Benjamin Franklin. The obverse depicts a sundial with the terms Fugio and mind your business. Fugio means I flee, the sundial means time, and mind your business means do your work. Therefore this rebus read, time flees, so do your work. There is an old book from 1790 called A Curious Hieroglyphic Bible, containing rebuses from the Bible. Japan In Japan, the rebus known as Hanjimano was immensely popular during the Edo period. A piece by Yukioi artist Kunizada was actor puzzles that featured rebuses. Kabuki actors would wear yokata and other clothing whose pictorial design, in rebus, represented their Yaga guild names, and would distribute Tanugi cloth with their rebus names as well. The practice was not restricted to the acting profession and was undertaken by townsfolk of various walks of life. There were also pictorial calendars called Igoyomi, Ja that represented the Japanese calendar in Reba so it could be read by the illiterate. In popular culture, in the 1958 children's book Tom's Midnight Garden, Tom uses an elongated image of a cat as his signature to represent his name, Tom Long. In the TV show The Electric Company, Danny can throw a word ball with a secret code named after the article. In the underground comic Zap No. 8 from 1975, Robert Williams' story Innocent Squandered features a character called Counselor Rebus. He is the defense attorney in a courtroom scene for the protagonist of the story, F. Leonid Bold Pubis. Mr. Williams' fanciful artwork style comes into play here as well as his sense of humor. Counselor Rebus has a body made of rebuses and speaks entirely in rebuses throughout the story. Lone Star Beer has rebus puzzles under the crown caps of its bottled beer, as do National Bohemian. Lucky Lager, Falstaff, Olympia, Rainier, Hafenreffer, Castle, Pearl, Regal, Valentine, Mickey's, Lion's Head, and Texas Pride during the 1970s and the 1980s. These puzzle caps are also called crown ticklers. Narragansett beer uses rebus puzzles on their bottle caps, and bar coasters. References External links, How to Solve Rebus Puzzles an example of using Chinese-like characters to write English. The online music review La Folia offers rebuses derived from composers' names, automatically convert any text into a rebus at myrebus.com. Rebus Generator